Hey friends, it's Ashley and today I'm here with a traveler's notebook layout for the Coco Daisy creative team. I am using the afternoon tea scrapbooking kit as well as some of the uh, memory keeping sticker kit and I'm also using the stamp from the memory planning step-by-step -step class which I will leave a link to if you have not had a chance to check that out. So I'm getting started here with my photos and there are some cute hexagon shapes in the afternoon tea kit, um, which is the May kit. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of play off of that shape. And so in Adobe Illustrator, I just used um, the little hexagon shape um, as a clipping mask to get shaped photos. And then I'm just cutting along those edges with my trimmer. And I wanted to use, or I'm sorry, I wanted to leave a little bit of a white border. So I am cutting that where there is still some white around the photo. And so I'm going to just get the final one trimmed out here. And on my Cameo, I also use that same shape to cut some hexagons from the pattern papers that are in the kit. And I'm just going to kind of place those um, where they meet up together like a puzzle just to get the shape all the way across my background. And this is three different pattern papers that I used. Um, there's a yellow, a pink, and then the black and white um, little plus sign. So I'm just kind of trying to, trying to decide where I want to place those and the colors. Oh, I actually do have five um, designs. I forgot about that. So I did use two other patterns from the kit. And so I'm just placing those where the colors aren't right next to one another um, and just trying to get the different colors arranged on the background um, and figuring out where I want to put those. And I did want to use some of the journaling cards. Um, I like to use journaling cards, but usually not as the actual journaling card. I usually cut them up. So for this, I cut a piece of vellum to the same size as my hexagons, and I'm just tracing that on the um, journaling card because I wanted to be able to see the phrase and kind of have it centered um, where it would look like it was supposed to be made like that. And so I'm just using my paper trimmer to go ahead and trim that out too. And making sure I just cut those pencil lines out of the way. And if you do accidentally have any of those after you trim, you can just use an eraser to get rid of those um, pencil lines. And so I do use two of the journaling cards in place um, of some of the pattern paper to mix those in because I liked having the phrase there for that. And so I want to go ahead and get one of my photos down so I can kind of use that as a base to go ahead and get everything else in place here. And I am going to be going over both sides of the paper. So I, I did want to get the yellow hexagon down. Um, and then get that trimmed so I could add it to the other side. And so once I got that adhered, I'm just going to flip it over and trim that extra piece off. And then I can put the two pieces back together um, and get those lined up so I can put that there also. And I did go ahead and punch my holes in the paper so that way I can go back later with a um, one hole punch once I've gotten everything finished. Here I'm going to go ahead and do this one um, just so you can see I can go ahead and punch those out where they match and where it will go in my um, in my traveler's notebook and any of the other places where it overlaps like that I'll go ahead and do that also you can tell that my photo is going to overlap right there um, so I'll do that with any of the other overlapping pieces and still trying to figure out that placement of all my hexagons and I did get them all in place and once um, I had all of those on there I am just going back and trimming off the pieces that overhang off of the edge and once you get that done you can use those pieces to kind of go back in and fill in any spots um, that you have you can see I have one at the top and another spot um, there over on the right hand side so you could use those extra little leftover pieces if they fit um, just to kind of go in and fill those spaces. I decided to go with the plus pattern paper again um, up there in that corner. So I do go back and use that full extra one that I had left um, because I did cut extras um, forgetting that I was gonna use two of the journaling cards. So I had that one extra pattern there. And then I can just trim that off really quickly um, and just make sure you flip it over to the back so you can see where you're cutting and you're not cutting into your um, background paper. So now I have all of those in place 
and I can start building the rest of my layout. And so I wanted to start with my title first and I'm using these cute little alpha stickers from the kit. And I like to use the tweezers with these just because it helps to get them off of the backing. Um, and it also helps you to get them placed pretty easily. And I'm just kind of eyeballing getting these lined up. Um, I decided to move them over a little bit because um, since my next letter was going to be the M, I didn't want it going across the page and having to be cut. So I went ahead and put the I right up next to the edge of the right hand side of paper. And then that way I could put the M on the other left hand side without having to cut into my title. So I'm going to spell out new smile here. Um, I was kind of deciding if I wanted to just do smile and then I thought I would do new smile um, since this is about my daughter getting her braces off. Um, so she was excited about that and I thought that would be a cute title to go along with the photos. And so I'm just going to get that last one in place there. And once I do that, I can start adding in some other embellishments. And I'm going to go through um, some of the puffy stickers, some of the regular stickers. Uh, I love the little hexagon chipboard pieces here. I do use some of those to embellish. Um, so I'm just going to look through and see what I want to add here. And I kind of wanted to create like a little cluster around my title. So I do go in and use some pieces there on that yellow hexagon to do that. And I like to mix in different shapes um, and different um, depths with like um, using either chipboard pieces or puffy stickers or maybe just some die cuts that I have. And these little die cut pieces actually say before and after and they kind of inspired the layout to start with because I did see those in the kit and I thought those would be great for her um, day of getting her braces off and being able to do the before and after. So I just put those pointing toward the photos and I always like to add um, just a staple with my tiny attacher um, anytime I do little phrases like that. So I went ahead and did that there too. And I definitely knew that I wanted to add some of the hexagons from this sheet. So I'm kind of looking around and I am turning them um, to match the pattern that I have on my um, background. So instead of having the flat edge at the top, I turn them to where it has the little point at the top to match that design. And I'm just gonna go through and put some of the cute little puffy stickers here. I always like to add hearts and there was um, there were some cute hearts here. So I kind of use those um, just kind of around not necessarily in a visual triangle, but close to one. Um, just kind of getting it in three different places to kind of move your eye. And since I had some of the pattern paper hexagons that didn't really have anything going on inside of them, I decided to grab some of the chipboard hexagons and add to the center of those um, just to give it a different dimension and to bring in some more pattern. So you can see I do that on those three that kind of um, hang off the page here. And once I get those in place, I do cut those also. This is the stamp set from the memory planning step-by-step -step class. And I just wanted to bring in a few um, little phrases. Um, this one says, yay. And I am stamping, stamping these um, with black archival ink. They're kind of, um, the yay and the lovingness are both kind of thin. So the archival inks um, work really good for any kind of thin or small um, stamp. So I went ahead and used that for these. And I also like the contrast of the black with the pops of bright colors. Um, so I did do the loving this also there with my title to fill in some more of that cluster there. And I wanted to add another third phrase. So I just chose hello um, to put right there on the journaling card that I had cut from earlier. And then once I get my stamping done, I'm going to get back to embellishing and I'm going to pull some pieces from the die cuts or ephemera. Um, I wanted to add some pop dots to get some of these off the page. So for this one that says fave, um, I do go ahead and add a couple of those and just kind of put it right there next to my photo to finish off that little cluster um, that had the after little arrow. And then I'm looking through those to see what else I want to use, what else might go with the layout. I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else that I want to put over there. And I liked the arrow um, and I wanted to bring in some more of that darker blue color. 
and to also pop something up on the left hand side of the layout since I had something already popped up on the right hand side just to balance things out so I go ahead and add those pop dots to the arrow and get it right there and I liked having it between the journaling card and then the title um, and then pointing over to the other side of the layout so now I'm going to go through some of the sticker sheets. Um, these have a lot of stickers that are super cute. And so it's kind of hard to decide what to use. Um, so I wanted to use some of the little phrases. And I kind of am looking to decide what I want to, um, to choose from that. And so I just grab a couple of those. I think this one said a special day. Um, so I thought that went really perfect with having her braces taken off. And this one said... Um, I think it said beautiful so it worked good right there with a the little hello stamp because it ends up saying hello beautiful and so now um, that I have most of my embellishments in place I wanted to add my journaling so in Adobe Illustrator I go in um, and just type my journaling into that same shape and I wanted to use it at the bottom so I just kept it where it was half of the shape and printed it on the vellum sticker paper that is transparent and then I can add that right there to the bottom and get my journaling worked in on one of those hexagon shapes and I just like how it blends in with the design of the whole layout and I did want to go and add another hexagon so I grabbed that little die cut piece and went ahead and put that there with the title also and on the sticker sheet there are a couple of um, little faces one was a sad face and one was kind of like a silly face with the tongue stuck out and I thought that would be cute to add to this layout since it's about braces and since it was kind of tiny I decided to make it shine a little bit more by adding a pop dot and then I'm just going to put it right there on that little hexagon and I thought that was so cute and that's usually a face that she makes <laughs> anytime I try to take a photo of her um, and my last thing that I do um, is do some stitching I thought it would be fun to put some hand stitching around the two hexagon shapes that were the journaling cards just to kind of make the phrases stand out so I chose a kind of mint green embroidery floss and a pink embroidery floss and so I'm going to do the um, mint color around the pink um, journaling card here and then I will do the pink color on the other one and this is just a back stitch um, pretty easy and I like to do that and um, have the texture that it adds to your layout it's always fun and just kind of helps things stand out a little bit the last thing I'm going to do here on the layout is go ahead and add my date to it and I'm just going to stamp that up top um, on the little journaling card hexagon and that will finish up my traveler's notebook layout using the afternoon tea kit. I will leave links to everything that I used in the description box below, including the memory planning step-by-step -step class. If this is your first time to my channel, I would love for you to become a new subscriber. Thanks so much for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Uh -huh.